What's good, YouTube? Hey, man, we back out again with another reaction video. Top 10 places you cannot go to in 2024. And you cannot believe that these people live there. I know I kind of messed up the title, but these are 10 places you won't believe people live there. That's the title of this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. I'm trying to do my best. With these videos, all I can do is try, right? right. Let's get into it, man. Polar bear counters. It does. I like different. Wow. Quabi. Russia. Oh, hell no. This is going to be with an ad. And I'm looking at my future trade. I'm up. Take it down. Uh, uh. 
All day, man. Not in the From some of the hottest areas in the world, all the way to some of the coldest, with a lake that sits in a volcanic crater in between. These places are absolutely astonishing. Here are the top 10 terrifying, uninhabitable places on Earth where people actually live. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Alert. <laughs> Just wanted to say alert. Alert is a small settlement located on the northern tip of Ellesmere Island in Nunavut, Canada. It is considered one of the northernmost settlements in the world and is also one of the most inhospitable environments on the planet. The area is characterized by extremely low temperatures, harsh winds, and long periods of darkness during the winter months. Despite these challenges, people still live in Alert. The settlement was established in 1950 as a weather station and military outpost during the Cold War. Since since then, it has remained an important monitoring station for climate change and military activities in the Arctic region. The population of Alert fluctuates depending on the season, but there are typically around 50 people who live and work there. The residents are mostly military personnel, scientists, and support staff who work at the station. They face numerous challenges such as limited supplies, extreme isolation, and the constant threat of polar bear encounters. Despite these challenges, the people who live in Alert are proud of their unique community and the important work that they do. They have developed a strong sense of camaraderie and resilience that is necessary for survival in such an extreme environment. In our number nine spot today, we have the Danakil Depression. We are going from one extreme to the other. The Danakil Depression is a part of the Afar Triangle in Ethiopia and is a geological depression that came about as a result of Africa and Asia moving apart. The divergence of three tectonic plates caused rifting and volcanic activity. This place is the hottest place on on Earth in terms of average year-round temperatures, and it is also one of the lowest places on Earth at 100 meters below sea level. There are active volcanoes in the area, there are salt springs, sulfur springs, and it only gets about 4 to 8 inches of rain every year. What I'm saying is that this place is stunning and has an incredibly rich geological history, but it also fully looks like it could be from another planet. This otherworldly landscape and quite inhospitable environment is the home to the Afar people. Somehow they have overcome the odds and the obstacles and managed to thrive in this extreme environment and it is said that this was made possible over the centuries by their ability to adapt to need less food and water than other humans. Honestly, it's one of the most remarkable things I've ever heard. The Danakil Depression is a popular destination for adventurous travelers who are seeking an experience that is truly out of this world. Visitors can explore the area on foot or by camel, taking in the breathtaking views of the alien-like landscape. Despite the harsh conditions, the area is also home to an a number of fascinating animals and plants that have also adapted to this very unique environment. In our number 8 spot today we have Kabwe. Located in Zambia, this place has been described as the world's most toxic town. The toxins in this town are due to the previous century of mining and smelting, which led to generations being exposed to unbelievable amounts of toxins and a mass lead poisoning. The plants closed in 1994, but at that point the damage had already been done. The population of 220 20,000 people that still live here are still exposed to lead in the dust and soil that is 10 times the US safety limit, but they stay out of necessity. At this point in time, the World Bank is now conducting a $65 million remediation project, and while that is great news, unfortunately, nothing can be done for all of the people who had to deal with this for the last century and a half. In our number seven spot today, we have Omeokon. This place is located in Russia, and if you've heard of it before, there's a chance it might be because it is known as the coldest inhabited place on Earth. This town has a population of around 500 residents who live in an average temperature of around negative 40 degrees Celsius, although in the summertime the temperature does get to around zero. The ground is covered in permafrost, which of course makes growing crops an impossibility, so the main source of food is meat and fish. Due to the temperature here, living, of course, has to look a little different. It's too cold for plumbing pipes, so restrooms are usually outhouses, engines freeze easily, so cars are usually running continuously, and during the shortest days, the residents live in darkness for 21 hours a day. Getting to this small town can take you quite some time as well. If you're coming from Moscow, I don't know why you would be, if you're coming from Moscow, you'll have to take a flight to one of the closest towns, which are both still over 900 kilometers away. The road from these cities that leads to the town is called the Road of Bones, which is extremely ominous sounding, and probably a road that should not be traveled alone just in case.
In our number six spot today, we have Salar de Uni. Salar de Uni is the world's largest salt flat located in the southwest of Bolivia near the crest of the Andes. The area spans over 10,000 square kilometers and is characterized by a stunning otherworldly landscape. This peculiar place was formed by the evaporation of a prehistoric lake, leaving behind a thick layer of salt crust that stretches as far as the eye can see. During the rainy season, the salt flat becomes a giant mirror reflecting the sky and clouds in a breathtaking spectacle. It is truly unbelievable. It looks completely fake and is somehow very real. The unique terrain and climate of the area has also given rise to many unusual natural formations. The flat is dotted with small islands of rock and gigantic cacti, which serves as a haven for a variety of animal species. Yeah, I said giant cacti. While this place is mostly devoid of life, plant, or animal, that is save for these cacti that can grow to be 12 meters or 30 39 feet tall. The area is also home to many active geysers and hot springs, as well as colorful lakes that are filled with flamingos during certain times of year. In fact, in November, this place becomes a feeding ground for three South American species of flamingo feeding on local brine shrimps. These are the Chilean, Andean, and rare James flamingos. Aside from its natural wonders, this place is also rich in cultural history. This area has been inhabited by the indigenous Aymara people for thousands of years, and they they have maintained their traditional way of life and culture to this day. In our number five spot today, we have Itorkotomi. This town is located in one of the most remote areas of Greenland and actually requires a helicopter ride from the nearest airport in order to actually get to the town. It was founded quite recently, actually, in 1925 by a Danish polar explorer and around 80 Inuit settlers, and it is about as far as you can get from any other inhabited area in Greenland. Despite this recent settling based on ruins and other archaeological remains, it became clear that this area was once inhabited some time in our history by Inuit populations of the past. There's around 450 residents and the town is known for its wildlife that includes polar bears, musk oxen, and seals. This place can be a popular tourist destination because of the stunning northern lights as well as other natural wonders. Cruise ships also love to stop here, but that can be a little tricky considering nine months out of the year, sea ice will block any ship from docking. In our number four spot today, we have La Rinconada. This town is located near the Peruvian Andes. Those right there were some cra some crazy places right there. I cannot lie. Um, y'all seeing this video from them places, man. If you can, man, I care for you. I fuck with you. Find you a safer place. You know what I'm saying? If you can, I got somebody from overseas, my homie. He trying to get to America, but he can't. You know what I'm saying? So you don't can do what you can. You know what I'm saying? And that's it for this video, man. I love y'all, man. Peace out, man.